Well, hello, my YouTube fam. Wherever we're out here at the Jordan River walkway. Me, my homeboy Tony, and my nephew right there, Aaron, that has his thumb up. We're all gonna go magnet fishing. Mine holds a 200, we'll pull 250 pounds up. The one he's working on, we'll pull 150. So hopefully together we can pull up 400 pounds worth of hopefully something good, not trash. So let's find, let's bite and find out. We're about to cast off our magnets, but we gotta watch out for those three people. So my long shitload of rope compared to his little shitload of rope don't nail one of them. So let's cast off. Ready? Go ahead. And I think I hit bottom. Let's see what I can pull up. So we threw them out and I got nothing. Well, I got some debris on the bottom of it. My homeboy over there cast out and he got... Plant life. Yeah, I guess these magnets are actually pretty good for catching plant life. Just not metal. Guess we'll just have to find out on the next couple of throws. Well, my nephew just well, shot out, out the magnet and caught nothing. Caught he caught rocks. what? As you can see, my line's already out there. I haven't pulled it back in yet. I want to make sure we can catch something good. Magnetic dirt? Yes, magnetic dirt's not good enough, so let's see what we get. Now, my nephew's going to try magnet fishing with the 250-pounder. They like said my homeboy over there, Tony, has a 150-pounder. I'm not sure we need more weight on these things. And... They're both trying. I wonder if we should try closer to the shoreline. That would be a good idea. Cast across the river. Uh, cast across the river instead. Now, uh, now just remember, yeah. you, you. Okay, Aaron. Did you stick it? I, I did actually. Well, then you might want to unstick it. <laughs> he, he got a magnet fish. Magnet fish. <laughs> a magnet fish. Hell yeah. I wonder if we should try down over there. Do you think that'd be better to go over, over there, Tony? Untie it and just go right to where those people are at? Well, we just want. He just went magnet fishing and he found something very magnetic. Look at that. Just reeled in that specimen right there. It looks like a rock or Diamond. something magnetic in the center of it. But it's magnetic. Here. See, it's magnetic. And we'll come off. What is it, Tony? Looks like a piece of slag. But at the same time, it's got embeddings in it. It might be a piece of meteorite. Okay, here we're casting at a different spot, underneath a bridge. Yeah. And we're gonna see what we can catch as long as there's not that metal fence down there. <clears throat> oh, nice, you got all that. Your turn, Aaron. Tie it to your wrist and throw it in. Well, it's not sticking to the fence, so that's a good thing. The fence isn't magnetic. Okay, put the thing on your wrist so you don't lose it. Put the safety thing on your wrist so you don't lose it. That's why there's a slip knot on there. And then, did you catch anything, Tony? Right over in the entrance. All right. You're going to get stuck on that snag right there, dude. Uh, we're snagged on a fence. Come over this way. Come over there. 